605 now. New information about an internal investigation into how a triple murder suspect slipped through the cracks in Alabama's parole system. The Way 31I team learned the state pardon and parole board finished an internal review of the case involving that triple murder suspect, but won't say what if any charges are coming. Now, it simply sent this statement saying, quote, we are unable to release information regarding policy updates, victim notification changes, progressive discipline application, or other message measures associated with this review. Way 31's Breck and Terry is live in Franklin County, where one local lawmaker is demanding more transparency. Breck in. Jimmy Spencer started his life of crime right here in Franklin County and was supposed to be serving a life sentence when he was paroled earlier this year. One Shoals lawmaker tells me it is unacceptable the that the right parole board will not release right. their findings on the review of the Spencer case anytime soon. No, and they have a right to be concerned. But the state pardon and parole board isn't in a rush. It told the Way 31I team if any permanent changes are made about policies and regulations, nobody will know until they're already in place. Telling us, quote, we do not have a timeline for completion, but the matter is a top priority of the board, end quote. State Representative Johnny McMara told me that's not enough. And if you allow government officials, bureaucrats, to hide information, then you're, you're inviting uh, corruption. You're inviting uh, these bureaucrats uh, making decisions that's, that's not in the best interest of the public. Spencer is a lifelong criminal who is serving a life sentence, but changes in law and overcrowding led to the parole board releasing him. Bobby Longshore told me he saw the system moving in a flawed direction, so he left the parole board after serving 11 years. The two systems try to accommodate each other, but it's not the parole board job to relieve overcrowding in the Alabama Department of Corrections. The input into the system is what is causing the, the crowding. The release strategy is not the answer. After parole, Spencer walked away from a reentry program and police in Sardis arrested him on drug and eluding charges. The Way 31I team discovered it took three weeks for Spencer's parole officer to respond to police in Sardis. Even then, he wouldn't have gone directly back to prison on those charges. How many more Jimmy Spencers are they uh, out there that are going to be paroled? Morrow admitted to me it's time to relook at the laws he and others voted for, but are to blame for making Spencer eligible for parole and for mistakes in the notification system. We need to revisit that. Uh, how did this person get improperly categorized? Uh, who made that mistake? I'd like to know that. And uh, if that's why he was paroled, then whoever uh, miscategorized it, uh, you know, they need to know that, hey, there are consequences for, for letting these violent people out into society. We just can't let it happen. percent rate, which worries many families who have upcoming parole hearings about their loved ones killers. Live in Franklin County, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News.